know as Brian mentioned, yes, I formerly was on uh, Canadian Idol. Uh, but lucky for you guys, I won't be single tonight. Yeah! Because uh, after I finished singing Baby one more time for the Canadian Idol judges, one of them told me, never sing again. So I, so I asked him, well, can I still go to karaoke? And he said, yeah, so make sure you buy a round of drinks for everyone before you get up and sing. <laughs> And as much as I'd love to sing a Celine Dion ballad for you guys tonight, I just can't afford to get yelled at. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've heard, but uh, I heard a study in the news uh, the other day about uh, how uh, sex is supposed to be as good of a workout as, uh, say, jogging. But it's clearly a lie, because I've been masturbating for over 15 years. <laughs> I've got boobs like John Goodman and ass like Oprah. I mean, seriously, I can squeeze my titties together and it looks like a caveman's ass. So I'm, uh, I'm recently single, so I figured I'd give the whole internet dating thing a try. And after chatting with a couple women, probably the most uh, common question that a woman would ask me is, so Harley, what do you like best about your body? Well, personally, I don't have a favorite, uh, but if I were to let others describe my best feature, they'd probably say it's my ass. Because every time I bend over, people usually say, hey man, nice crack. <laughs> uh, but uh, my uh, dating endeavors on the internet, they've been going all right so far. Uh, I took a girl down to Tim Hortons for a coffee on Victoria uh, the other week. And, uh, she wouldn't let me buy her a coffee, but I should have known that she said right on her profile, yeah, I'm an independent lady, so I just said to her, it's like, come on, it's not like I expect you to suck my dick at the end of the week. And then the lady behind me comes up to me and she says, I'll oh, suck your dick for a free coffee. That's two dollars I ever spent. Now I know why they call it Timmy Hoes. Um, and then just last week, I took another girl out on a date. We went, I took her down to Kelly O'Brien's, and as we were looking over our menus, a couple guys were in ski masks came in, and they started taking the shit out of the guy at the table next to me. And anyways, after that was all done, then the waitress came to take my order. Uh, I wasn't too sure what I wanted at that point, but whatever the guy was having at the table next to me, it sure looked good. So. I'll have what he's having, but hold the can will pass. <laughs> and, uh, the, but the real reason I wanted to come out tonight is I want to share with you what I think is probably, it, it's probably going to be the next uh, best uh, personal hygiene product for men. Well, you know how they've got Vagisil Feminine Wash? Well, why don't they have anything called Penisil Masculine Wash? <laughs> uh, what guy wouldn't want to buy something that said right on the label? Directions, apply a liberal amount of penicillin to your penis, then rub vigorously for five to 10 minutes. Uh, I can just see it now, and every guy's gonna be running out, busting their arms just so they can be like, honey, bath time, don't forget to use the penicillin. <laughs> and uh, while I'm on the topic of personal hygiene, I'd just like to share with you guys that I recently got a new roommate, and oh, yes. she's always leaving her sh uh, razor in the shower, but I ain't complaining or anything because my balls haven't been this smooth since I was in the third grade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, uh, well, as I said, this is only my third time doing stand-up, so I went and did some research on the internet of what a good stand-up comedian should do, and they said you should involve the audience, so I wondered, can I get a volunteer, please? Anybody? I promise I won't. All right, you right there. No, 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 but stay right there, sir. I don't need you yet. You need to the washroom in 10 minutes. All right, thank you, everybody. I have 15 minutes. Keep going for a